My pregnancy was not very difficult until I unexpectedly went into labor and I had Jesse at 27 weeks. He was a micro preemie. He weighed two pounds and one ounce. Jesse was sick very often during his first year of life. He was admitted very often for various respiratory illnesses. It would be difficult to go like a month without being admitted or at least going to the emergency room. By his first birthday was the first time we noticed like something was seriously wrong. When I changed his diaper, instead of having stool, we had a diaper full of blood. And we called the doctor and had a test on it, and it came back right away. He had C. diff and blood in his stool. Your body doesn't produce the good bacteria in your intestines to break down infection. The doctor had told us that the last option we had to cure Jesse's C. diff was a fecal transplant, where they would take stool from me and transfer it to him. My good bacteria kills his bad bacteria. I've never heard of a fecal transplant before, but you know, we were willing to, to try anything. We saw results right away. The first two days after surgery, Jesse was actually stooling mine. You know what I mean? One, two. Since the transplant, um, Jesse has been doing phenomenal. He is the toughest boy I know. He knows no other way. He's been fighting since the day he was born. Please welcome Jesse's mom, Tatum, to the show. And this is so intriguing because most people think, ah, oh, fecal transplant, that's gross. But you have to understand, Jesse's first of all, the youngest ever recipient of a fecal transplant. And the reason for the transplant is, Jesse was suffering from something called C. diff colitis. Uh, bacteria Clostridium difficile, it can actually attack your colon. Now normally it happens in older individuals. Right. And it's very, becoming more and more common and what tends to happen, at least one of our theories, is that in certain people, the bacteria gets disrupted. And the number of good bacteria goes down, the C. diff bacteria take over and attack our colon. Mm -hmm. So, how have we treated that in the past? Well, one of the number one causes of it is getting antibiotics, because you kill off your good bacteria. But in the past, we would treat it with more antibiotics. Right. It would work for some, not others. So now we've realized, well, wait a minute, let's put the good bacteria back in and in this scenario, the good bacteria came from your colon. 